Hey, what's going on, everybody? What's going on? I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. My name is Dr. Boyce Watkins. Today on drboystv.com, we're going to talk about this interesting story that I just read about a mother who uh, felt uh, the need to spend $16,000 on her daughter's prom. Now, we're not here to shame the mother. We're not here to shame the daughter. Certainly, we're just here to kind of analyze this and think this through. And, and I'm going to just let you know what I see. And I'm going to be honest. And so I hope that that's okay. So anyway, get comfortable, buckle up your seatbelt. We're going to get started on drboystv.com right now. Here we are, clan the isms, cataclysm, great. Our people out here struggling, trying to make it in this state. Everybody out here doing it, but we the ones who late. Now family, we the ones who got to delegate. Get that money in the power, never be fake. Stick to code side for three. What did he say? Uh, create jobs, support our own. Educate the same and buy back your own. Got three degrees, triple ten. Three PhDs, now we on the CNN. DBTV, let's talk about negligence. Ignorance is bliss, but we can turn into intelligence. Believe none of what you hear, half of what you see. Let's break it down here on Dr. Boyce TV. Here we are. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to DrBoyceTV.com, the home for intelligent black people. My name is Dr. Boyce Watkins. I want to say hello to everybody, and I see Vic FM. You're the first one in here, and he says, I love you, and I hope you're having a great weekend. Well, same to you, brother. Love you, too. Thank you. And uh, let me know if you guys can hear me okay. Give me a yes if you can hear me. Um, I am traveling with my family, and uh, my wife uh, brought, brought me out here to uh, sunny California, and uh, and we brought the kids. And, uh, and so you know how it is when you stay in a different location, you got the Wi-Fi issues and everything. So give me a yes. Give me a quick yes if you can hear me. I want to make sure I'm coming through all right. What's going on, Shirley? Shirley Harrell, Mathia Muhammad, the London Miss, Roxana Green, TC, Doris Daniels. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right. And, uh, <clears throat> and as we get started, before we get started, I want to remind everybody, you guys know we do financial consciousness training or economic awareness training every single morning at 10 a.m. It's 100% free in the Black Business School because I really want us to elevate our economic awareness. If you can't see the money, you can't be the money. So economic awareness training, EAT, uh, means I'm going to show you how to eat so everybody can eat. So if, uh, if you want to eat, then you got to be able to see the food. And uh, that's what we do every single morning at 10 a.m. Eastern. It's 100 percent free. It's just all, all I ask is that you bring your family. So if you want to join, text the word morning to 87948. Text morning to 87948. Or if you live in another country, just go to drboyceelevate.com. That's drboyceelevate.com. So let's elevate our consciousness so we can understand things. Now, uh, I'm going to do a quick straw poll. Uh, I saw this story that was really interesting. Uh, there was a prom where uh, basically the mom because she did not have a prom of her own, because she was feeling, uh, I guess, emotional about what happened to her, uh, she really went all out for her daughter. She spent 16 grand on her daughter's uh, prom. And uh, and I, I'd be curious to know, what do y'all think? Like, give me a yes or no. Do you, like, give me a yes if you think it, everything's cool, it's not a big deal, we're overreacting, uh, it's her business, you know, let's, you know it's, it's fine. And give me a no if you think, uh, uh, a little bit weird like this this is a lot this is this is a little bit too much how about did anybody in here i'll be curious did any of y'all spend six like anything close to 16 grand on your prom i does anybody i mean again i'm gonna sound like a i'm not even gonna sound like a gen xer i'm gonna sound like a boomer right now okay i'm gonna sound like a boomer i don't what what the hell's going on with these kids and these crazy proms have you seen how they've been flexing at their proms like, like i saw a guy who pulled up, he had uh, he had a police escort, like the president of the United States. So the police escort comes through with four police motorcycles with their sirens on. And then he had a group of cheerleaders that were meet, walking behind the police escort with their pom-poms. And then he pulls up in a Tesla cyber truck. Like, what's going on right now? Like, is, is, is this like the flex on them Olympics? Like, is that what we're doing now? Is this our new competition? Like, did I miss the memo? Because <laughs> I got to show y'all pictures of my prom. See, I had I had a couple of nickels to rub together. I had to buy my suit and my girlfriend's dress. And my parents didn't know that my girlfriend was pregnant. So we had to get a little bit of an extra large kind of dress. I mean, they just thought she was gaining weight. Thought I, they thought I like big girls or something. And uh and, and that's how we did it, man. We we didn't <laughs> we didn't do all this crazy stuff. I don't know. So so I, I don't know. I find it interesting, right? And I'm not here to judge. I'm not here to uh, talk bad about anybody. So let's just keep that 100% clear. I think we can have an honest conversation. 
without it being either uh, enabling of, of unhealthy financial behavior, but, but also without it being just, you know, nasty and cold. And because we don't know this lady's business. For all we know, $16,000 might be nothing but a thing to her. She might be somebody that might spend 16 grand going on vacation. She might be a multimillionaire. She might have hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars in the bank. And there are people who do this. You know, if Kim Kardashian can look fancy and buy luxury items, then why can't a black girl have these things? Right. So nothing wrong with that at all. I want to make that 100 percent clear. OK, so so uh, let give me a yes. If you agree, we can have this conversation in love without it just being a nasty gossip fest. OK. All right. So let's let's jump into some of this. Right. And let's just talk about some things to sort of factor here, uh, really from an economic awareness standpoint, uh, when you're talking about proms and you're talking about economic awareness, uh, this really is something and we do the, our economic awareness training every morning. This is really where you're able to kind of understand and see just how wealth works and where your money's going. Uh, we can see why black people have less wealth than other groups. We can see why uh, the Asian and Jewish communities have the highest incomes and the highest wealth, highest wealth levels. We can see uh, why black consumption patterns are a little bit disturbing and how they're influenced by things like hip hop. Uh, hip hop culture. Right. Because for 30 years, these poor kids are growing up in an environment where rappers have done nothing but flex on them every single day. Uh, they constantly you know, drive up in these uh, in these fake, you know, these cars that they rented uh, from somebody with rented jewelry in a rented house. And they give you a false fake lifestyle that makes you think that somehow you got to live like that. And if you're not living like that, then you're not a quality person. Quality of of individuals in my view, uh, should be measured by how, how hardworking you are, how smart you are, whether you're a good person or a bad person. Uh, do you have goals? Uh, do you treat people well? Instead, we, we rank quality of people by uh, you know, how much European shit you got on your body, like how much Gucci you got, dog. How much <laughs> how, <laughs> I saw you wearing Louis. I saw you wearing Prada. And, and, and it's the funny thing to me is that these European companies, they, they don't even hardly like black people that much. They don't even like you. But you, you, you give all your wealth to these people that don't like you to impress people who probably don't like you either. And I, and I do think that that is something worth at least being conscious and aware of. So uh, what tends to occur, in my view, is with these proms kind of getting outrageous, I think that what's happening is that kids are putting pressure on other kids. And uh, and I think that the kids are feeling like they have to go above and beyond to 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 show off at prom. So rather than being evaluated favorably because, you know, because you made good grades or because you have a, a big goals for the future, people just look at what kind of car you're driving. And I'm going to tell you what the, the car you're driving, the clothes you're wearing don't mean nothing uh, in terms of what kind of person you are. It means nothing. I know people that have lots of money who are just complete scumbags who don't even take care of their kids, who are horrible human beings, who are dumb as bricks who are lazy, lazy as hell. And there is no reason that a person should be evaluated on a higher scale just because they're showing up with a bunch of fancy stuff. Uh, you know, also, you don't show your wealth by throwing your wealth away. Throwing your wealth away is not a flex. It is not a flex to say, hey, I'm doing really well financially and I'm going to prove it to you by giving all my money away to white people. That, that's not a flex. What that shows is some sort of deeply embedded insecurity that you have. What it shows is that you don't feel confident and comfortable enough in your own skin that you have you have to spend money to buy self-esteem. You have to spend money to buy esteem from others. You have to spend money. You have to give your money away in order for you to feel complete, to feel human. And, and I just don't understand why that is not something that isn't discussed more regularly. Maybe it's because we just don't always have what we need to do that. And maybe I'm overthinking it because I'm a finance professor and my wife is a therapist. So, so as, as you know, sitting, so imagine a finance professor laying in bed with a social work PhD who's a licensed therapist and analyzing these things. We come to these awkward insights that, you know, may sound strange on the forefront, but I think it really speaks to a need for healing in the community to help us get where we got to get to. Now, do me a favor. Please hit the thumbs up button. Thumbs up, thumbs up, share, subscribe. My name is Dr. Boyce Watkins. You're watching DrBoyceTV.com, the home for intelligent black people. If this is your first time here, I hope that you will join us. 
uh, and hang out with us because we are the best on earth when it comes to black wealth and, and black economics. Uh, we don't play. We are extremely good at what we do. And uh, I was on the faculty at Syracuse University for 13 years. I taught at The Ohio State University, University of Kentucky, uh, et cetera. And uh, we our goal is to make black people the most intelligent economic group of people on the planet, at least those who want to listen. And uh, and I speak to you every single day because I'm serious about this, too. So we're talking about spending on proms and overspending. Now, when I think about proms and I look at kids flexing out on their proms and going crazy, you know, rolling up in camels and Bugattis and everything else. Um, it makes me think about that next step, uh, the bigger version of the prom, which is called the wedding. And I thought about how much people spend on weddings. And I think that there's a connection there, right? There's a connection between just basically this idea that you're having this big event where you're showing off for a bunch of other people.